Oklahoma 40, Tulane 35. Chris, did you have this on one of your TVs? Hell yeah. I watched almost every second of it, and it took Oklahoma fuckery for for them to win this game. Yes. It absolutely took a complete and utter screw job of Tulane to not win this game. I okay, so what was what was the screw job? So there was there was just a a, a, a huge, huge PI call. In the fourth quarter, oh, okay, where two okay. lanes, where two lanes going, and and that ended up being a fourth down play, and right. and so you my, know you, my you, thought process there, I thought you were talking about the spot at the end of the game, and I was like, no, 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 no not talk. We never even get to that point, man. Yeah, yeah. Oklahoma um, is down. Oklahoma is struggling. Oklahoma cannot. All I heard, and and you, Mister Seegers, are one of the people that I trust that told me this, but you weren't the only one, so I you're not it. you're not on the island. Everybody told me this Oklahoma team is going to be different. They finally fixed their defense. They finally have a defense. They're loaded. They're going to win the national championship. We haven't seen a team with this good of a defense and this good of an offense ever in our life. And you know what? You're all wrong. And I thought it sounded weird. I thought it sounded funny. And it didn't make sense to me. But everybody I talked to scared me off of this game, scared me away from it because I thought, man, I guess, you know, Oklahoma might be pretty good. And you got a quarterback that nobody knows his damn name. Okay, yeah. literally, he was just referred to as the two lane quarterback all day long on Twitter, on highlight reels, everything. And he outplayed Spencer Rattler the entire game for 60 minutes. He was the better quarterback on the field. Spencer, Spencer is soft. Spencer is going to struggle if he ever plays a good defense. And let me tell you why. Spencer had a couple of quarterback sneak opportunities where they it was like third and inches or something. And every time Spencer, they got him, they got the first down, but every time Spencer gets bowed backwards, I'm talking head and neck go one way, the rest of his body is being pushed another. And every time he comes out of those screaming, hurting, fit, that guy, that guy's not, he, he will not stick his nose in a hole to get an inch anymore. I think that was it. And that's two lanes defense doing that to him. Okay. Yep. That ain't Oklahoma State. That ain't Texas. That ain't somebody big. That ain't TCU. That's not, you know, Iowa State. That's not a real defense that'll hit you. That's from Tulane. Yes. Yes. You're, you're 100% right here. Mitchell said, uh, I know that Pratt kid is sneaky crafty, but I thought Oklahoma had a defense this year. And he said, That's what I'm saying, Chris. I'm never going to believe in an Oklahoma defense. Ben nope. said, Take K State to beat him for a third straight time. Let me tell you about Michael Pratt here. Michael Pratt, his EPA on the game, 19.4. Just to put that in relation to something else, Spencer Rattler's EPA, 9.33. Yeah, That's the Heisman insane. favorite got outplayed like a champ in his own building. I mean, it just, it, it, it was it was surprising. It was very surprising. No, I'm telling you, I, this Oklahoma team might lose three games. I'm just, I'm, I'm so. I'm looking, at the, I'm looking at the rest of the schedule, but it will not shock me if they finish nine and three. It just won't. I can, I can buy it. I now, can they buy might it. finish undefeated. They got out of this game and they got the win. It took some fuckery to get it, but they got it. But I'll tell you this. If you told me they have to go 12 and 0 or nine and three, which one are they closer to? I'd, I'd pick nine and three and take my chances with the bullet. Now this this was a weird week. Uh, let's you know Tulane been staying in Birmingham. Tulane might have been fighting a little harder than typical, but at, either way, now, Tulane's got all the negative things going against them. Exactly, they don't get to play at home. They thought this game was going to be in their home. They didn't even get like the home locker room and stuff. Like they just said, we're just going to officially make this an yeah. Oklahoma home game in the scorebooks, and you still use the visitor facilities, and you still stay in the hotel. No. So, yeah, Oklahoma had all of the benefits, and Tulane had to go against all of the different stuff. Yeah, Rife said Oklahoma will lose two games this year. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.